What is up YouTube, N64 Fun Time coming back at you today. And today, you guys are just gonna watch me play a game that I started recently and I really, really love. I actually wanted to do this video a long time ago because uh, I got an Xbox 360, but it's been broken and it still is broken, but it works sometimes. And I just got it to work again. So I'm gonna shoot this video really quick before it decides to stop working. Um, and yeah, before we get going, actually, if you guys can help me out with the Xbox 360, if you know about the Xbox 360, basically what it's doing is when it's booting up on the on the title screen where the Xbox logo comes up, it's like it starts to skip and it'll keep resetting. Um, and each time it resets, it's like jagged a little bit. And then it just, it's in a loop of like trying to reset on the title screen. I don't know if it's a hard drive failure. Typically to get it to work, I'll remove the hard drive and just kind of seat it incorrectly. Um, and it seems to work. I did take it apart. I cleaned it, but like I said, it, it keeps going back to doing this. Um, and typically if I keep it vertically, it works. So it's, really really weird I don't know why it's not working um, but like I said it's just stuck in that loop on that title screen and it's jagged almost like it's trying to boot up but it's not so I don't know if you know anything about the Xbox 360 and you know what that is please let me know I would love to be able to get this thing fixed it's the Xbox Elite 250 gig I believe so anyway what are we doing today we're playing amp 2 I've been playing this game for so long um, and we're just gonna rock out and play this game just a little bit um, and you're just gonna watch me play. I'm pretty good at this game and it looks so good on the Xbox 360 because it is an HD TV game. Um, and this came out in 2003, which is unbelievable. This was before HD TVs were even like a thing like that was in everybody's homes. But this is an HD TV game. Uh, if you had the component cables, it would actually go in 1080p, or I'm sorry, 1080i. And I believe the Xbox 360 will upscale to 1080p. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it looks ridiculously good. Actually, it might be 1080i. I can actually tell when the character is moving on screen now that it's that the, the lines are kind of jagged a little bit. Um, but it's it's so good and i'm so excited to share this with you guys this to me is my favorite snowboarding game so without further ado here we go amped two all right guys here we go we are just going to continue on with my career and like i said it looks so unbelievably good on this tv um i just like it it blows my mind one that this was an original xbox game that it came out in 2002 um, let's do New Zealand because I just unlocked that last night and uh, this was a really cool map um, but how how powerful the original Xbox was compared to the other um, consoles at the time PlayStation 2 all that stuff. And I'm looking at it on my capture card, my Elgato capture card, and it looks so good. Um, one of the things I am gonna have to do, I forgot, um, I'm gonna have to do this. Um, I have to go to options and I'm gonna have to turn down the music volume because uh, this is all licensed stuff, which is really unfortunate because this music is like my music. This is the music that I listened to in 2003. It's kind of like punky pop, music kind of but it was really good and i love listening to the music the soundtrack on this music is so good but unfortunately we can't listen to it or youtube will give me a ding so anyway here we go we're just going for points and stuff right now let's see i don't know if i'm gonna make it over here wow Wow. Go for points and stuff. Get that done. So what I do in my my snowboard character, I usually don't do any I don't put anything in the the switch. So and then I put all the points into like big air and stuff. I'm sucking it up guys, I'm sorry. I'm usually like really good at this game. I think it's because I'm sitting really close to this TV. I like to sit close to the TV anyway, but this is actually like almost a little disorienting. Let's get up here. Oh 
All right, what do we get? Nothing special. One point. I wish I could listen to the music. It's, unfr it's frustrating that I can't show you guys the music because it's a main, oop, let's do this. Yeah, do Big Mountain Ridge. It's the best because of this right here. Once you upgrade yourself all the way, if you come off the side here, Oh no, I totally screwed up. I didn't alley right. That, I think, is the biggest jump of the entire game. I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, snowman. Boom! So there's a few things that you can do with just these normal levels. Um, there's the um, snowman that you have to find on top of the points. Whoa stuck up in a tent on top of the points you have to do and the photo shoot or the photo guys you have to get snowmen there's gaps which are kind of a shiny um, little arrow and then there is uh, what else there's specific tricks they want you to do in the game as well but, and then there's sponsored events, which are really cool. They just put a lot of variety in this game. Um, and at the end of the day, basically you're, you're, you're continuing on the game to go from, I think you start out at 250 and you wanna get to number one and winning competitions and leveling, leveling yourself up and stuff is how you do that. And I remember when I had Xbox Live, I actually would play this online. And there were actually people playing online. Um, oh, jeez. One of the things I was thinking of, too, is they had the original Counter-Strike for the Xbox as well. And I had that game before I was bad and sold off all my Xbox stuff when I was a poor kid in college. I had two big gaming moments of my life. There was the, let's do, well, no, let's, I'm gonna show you some other stuff. There was the poor college kid era in which I sold a ton of my games and systems, Xbox being one of them. I regret it to this day. I had so many Xbox games um, so I'm going to show you the sponsor and then the photo shoot so you guys can kind of get a handle of what those are. The sponsor just likes something and you have to do that throughout the run. So this one likes big air, so just normal tricks. Um, so I sold my Xbox and a bunch of stuff in college. Um, almost, and I sold most of my PlayStation 2 games. Dang it. Which... It's a little bit harder when I'm talking, which, which I do regret selling my PlayStation 2 games because I had a ton of them. And I sold the broadband adapter because of the PlayStation 2 Fat, um, and controllers, and Guitar Hero, and I, I just sold so much stuff of like that era of system. Because um, I was doing a lot more PC gaming, that's when I was super into World of Warcraft. Um, so I needed money and I got rid of my systems, unfortunately. So, you know, it is what it is. And I know we all did that where we sold our, some of our stuff that we really regret or really wish we didn't. So you just got to stay in amped when you get to the bottom. And then the other thing that I had big gaming like loss was I had a super Nintendo and a ridiculous amount of games like an un absurd amount of games and some of those games today are worth you know two you know hundred two hundred dollars now um, it was stolen and I had uh, a bunch of other things stolen at that time um, but it was it was really unfortunate uh, and I'll do the photo shoot here so those were kind of two moments of my life where I really lost a lot of like gaming stuff. Um, oh shoot, I gotta make that gap. I don't know if my Ollie's high enough. So you gotta hit the rings and you gotta get enough points. And I gotta come back, but I'm switch. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. 
These photo shoots are tough. These are the things that will make you super angry of this game. Let's just try. And this is sometimes where the Xbox 360 will actually freeze. I don't know if my Ollie's high enough to actually do this. Nah, I'm not gonna I'm gonna worry about that later so I'm gonna go back and then I want to show you guys uh, the competition I don't remember what I was talking about I lost track pro that's what I want to do so I want to show you the, oh, dang it I don't have the photo shoots unlocked for this I'm gonna have to go back what's interesting is these screens right here let me go back here so I want to do the pro for you guys, show you guys the pro. That's actually one of my favorite things to do outside the competitions. Let's see, okay, I can do this one. So you have to do a photo shoot and the uh, sponsor, and then once you do like sponsor two, photo shoot two, then you unlock pro two after you beat the competition. So the pros are cool. You actually just follow them down the hill. Um, and then you have to like replicate their moves. Typically I hang back right here so they get ahead. Cause you can actually like really, you can actually get ahead of the pro and then you're like, crap, I don't know what to do. Oh dang. Oh jeez, screwed up. And then you get three misses, but you have to get the last trick. So. points. I missed my style there. Oh, jeez. You got a cool skull and crossbones board. I meant to butter so I could hit that next rail. That's what he's doing. I can't even tell you how many how many hours I've spent playing this game. Um, I've started this game over three, four, five times and made it to number one. Um, and there's some photo sh the photo shoots by far are the most frustrating thing in this game. Urgh. I'm not gonna make this one. Dang it. I come off that jump a certain way and if I get off where I'm going too slow, I lean back and I get a little disoriented. Let's see if I can get this one. There we go. Let's <sighs> Try it one more time. I know I can get that. Oh, I didn't get enough points. I'm going too fast. I gotta slow down. Um. And one thing I said before that I want to reiterate here is I know one of the big other snow other big snowboarding games was SSX. Uh, I know Tricky and SSX2 or SSX3 was really good. Um, but what made this game the best to me um, was the way that the dual joysticks work. Because one of the things that frustrated me about SSX was having to pull your, ah, oh, dang it, having to pull your hand off, I'm going to pause it, off the uh, joystick to go to the D-pad to do your grabs. You don't have to do this. You do that. You actually, like, rotate with this and then go to this for your grabs and stuff. And it just makes it so much more organized and better. Um, 
in my opinion anyway. Man, this is really frustrating. I'm not gonna sit here and just do this away. You guys, you guys definitely get the idea. And I'm rushing through this game, but the fun part about, oh, one more time. <laughs> That's what I do every time. But the fun part about this game is doing, like honestly doing these things over and over. And this is how you get good. Um, oh man, I, went to, I hit the ollie and it lagged a little bit. And you get better, and then the more you do the statistics, like you just get better at, you know, grinding and balancing and stuff. Oh, I meant to butter. Oh, I still got enough. Tri I still got enough points. And I, I was obsessed with snowboarding anyway. Like any chance I could get go snowboarding, I would. So that's why I think this was really cool. This was at like the peak of like my high school friends going snowboarding and really enjoying it and then this game came out um and to me this is this is just the best snowboarding game of all time i never played amp 3 because i didn't have an xbox 360 um until now um so i may try to pick up amp 3 if it's good or if it's good if it's a reasonable price I totally did not bail. Gosh. No. No. Well, you guys get the idea. Um, I think I had a pretty good little yellow card. There you go. That's an example of the uh, the awesome music that this game had. I really, 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 really love this soundtrack. But anyway, there you go. That's the game that I'm playing now, Amp 2. And like I said, if you guys do know what's going on with my Xbox, I'd really appreciate it if you guys can tell me what's going on with that because it's kind of frustrating a little bit. I'm actually considering just buying a new one. Um, but there you go, Amp 2, one of my favorite games of all time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't played it, go back and play this game because it looks so good on a modern TV if you play it through your Xbox 360. Now with the Xbox uh, One, Xbox backwards compatibility games, I don't know if this is going to be one of the games they choose, but this was um, the Xbox specific sports games. So this is a Microsoft game, so they may add this one uh, to the Xbox X, Xbox One backwards compatibility uh, but there you go uh, n64 fun time feel free to follow me on instagram and facebook i do plenty of fun stuff on there like and subscribe down below i always appreciate it be nice stay positive always be gaming